Hello, welcome to the RC Block. I'm Jamie Nitro and thank you for tuning in. Tonight we're going to talk about Hall Effect Sensors. And that is what these little guys are right here. Now if you'll notice one side is flat and then one side has uh, little angles to it. I think they're little 45s but... So um... With uh, these Hall Effect sensors, I've had quite a few burnout on me, and uh, I found that it was just easier to go on Amazon for 12 bucks and get a pack of 20. And uh, what I have here are uh, 3144s and 43Fs. And today we're going to be doing a 43F Hall sensor. And uh, this little guy is. I'm going to be testing him out to see how he does in this engine here. This is the Howen L6 engine. Um, it's an inline six cylinder. And uh, the area that these fit in is pretty tight. So there's a little bit of uh, spark leakage and uh, other issues that have been causing these Hall Effect sensors to burn out pretty easily. Now what I've done is I found a way of... Uh, uh, shielding these a little bit better so they've been lasting longer for me the last sensor I did lasted for about two weeks and I'm just gonna do another round here uh, I've already soldered up a few of these just to get going here so yeah I, I got a couple already soldered up and ready to go um, this one here is a 43F and I make it so I can identify them easily this one's a 3144 now apparently the 43F is what was sold with this engine and it's the one that is supposed to be uh, the proper one uh, I've been using the 3144 has been working for me but I still want to try and see what happens here. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I am using three little pieces of heat shrink here. And these three little pieces are going on each of the wires. I have a thinner and heavier shielded heat shrink to go on afterwards. Now, what I'll do before I solder anything is I'll put this heavier shielded heat shrink on the thicker wall stuff on first because it's a little harder to get on when you have everything together. And then um, you want to butter up some flux on the on these little tanks here. That's just going to help the solder uh, distribute a little more easier there evenly. Now, uh, when you're doing this, you want to be very fast. You don't want to put too much heat to these. These sensors do not like heat. So, just really fast. And you can see, as soon as I touch it, because of the flux, it almost instantly uh, evenly distributes over the wire. Um, so now when I go to solder the wire on, I'm going to get a better contact here. Better solder, better weld, less chance of a cold solder. So first off, let's put on, let's do the, the negative wire, the middle wire first. This is going to go on the middle tang. Now whenever I'm soldering these, I should note that I always do in the same position so right now I have the angle side facing towards me and because of that I know that the red wire is going to go on the left tang or the upper tang negative wire is going to go in the middle signal wire is going to go on the bottom or the right so I got my heat shrink on here first now let's get ready to put this guy on. Now I like to line myself up first. Clean off the tip. Put just a little bit. Uh, 
add a little extra there. Put a little bit of solder on there. Now you want to be quick when you do this. So just a quick touch. That's all you need. And there you go. She's on. Now we'll do the red one. The positive wire. Same thing, clean off your tip, make sure it's nice and clean. Put a little bit of solder on the end. And you want a quick touch. Now, now we're gonna do the signal wire. Line myself up. And if you find this video helpful at all, please like and subscribe. Also, add any comments down below uh, if you have any suggestions, anything that can uh, help me be a better, better at giving this information out to you. All of you viewers would uh, would be helpful. So, and thank you for all your support and watching this video. And now let's get back to finishing this off here. So. Normally at this point here, I would use uh, a heat gun. I do not have a heat gun uh, in my arsenal today. So we're gonna go back to old school method of using a big lighter. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna be careful not to put, uh, or to put as little heat as possible on the sensor itself. So we start at the back and work your way forward and just try not to put any heat on the sensor. And just try to be quick with that flame so you don't hold it in one place for too long. Alright, so now everything is heat shrinked on. Each one of those little metal tangs that you see coming off of the sensor is now covered. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my first layer of protection. This guy's going to slide over. And I'm not going to put them... Uh, because on this Howen engine, there's not much room to get this Hall Effect sensor in there. So you can't completely cover them like you would normally do. Um, so what I've done is I've opened up the mount for the Hall Effect. And I've uh, put the heat shrink back a little bit. Now I use a thinner wall heat shrink so that it can get in there a little more easier and it's not going to push it back so easy now, same thing coming from the back and just be quick on the flame don't hold it in one place for too long remember you don't want too much heat on the hall sensor because that will cause it to burn out um, so in some of these cases too when I'm soldering in the first uh, few instances I probably got a little bit too much heat and that burned out the Hall Effect sensor right there. So I mean, uh, try and keep your heat minimum. That'll for, that'll keep the risk of burning the Hall Effect sensor to uh, more of minimum there. Now we can uh, put the extra shielding over if the wire will let me. So and then slide that up. Now this extra bit of heat shrink, what that actually does will help keep everything in place. It helps add an extra layer of protection to your sensor, to your wires, to everything. Now same thing, just start with the heat in the back. There you go. Now the sensor is ready to install uh, in the mounting point here. And uh, yeah, tomorrow will be uh, another day of testing this engine. So, and right now I got four 
Hall Effect sensors that I've uh, wired up. So I mean, if uh, one or two of them don't work, I'm sure at least one of them will work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Happy building all. Bye for now.